The one thing that excites me the most about the project, I guess, is actually doing it from the ground up and actually having a very strong affinity with the house. What's different about this project is the interiors and the architecture happening in-house side by side. I guess it was one of those amazing briefs where the client had full belief in you. So well, they've actually just handed over the building to us and say, we trust you. I've built and designed quite a lot of houses in my life, but this one's, I suppose, my first mega house. The client approached SJB basically through the project manager and the construction manager. Um, Easton's I've actually been working with for the last 30 years. They have a very personal relationship that um, has been established over decades. The client was looking for a residential home and so asked me to see if I can identify a site. So we put three blocks of land together. I rated them sort of a triple A, an A and a B plus site. And represented the client at auction and purchased the land. Then I went through a whole host of meetings and discussions with them on the type and style that they liked. So we were working through contemporary architecture against more traditional styles. Pretty quickly it came to fruition that, that really they were going down a contemporary theme. I then went about putting a couple of suggestions forward and SJB was one of those suggestions. They already had recognised part of our work before and really resonated with some of the work that we've done. So to a certain degree, it was really just a very simple, this is the accommodation that we require and really left it up to me to start building the design and the fabric to present back to them. The client actually is an international client and so their perception on what an Australian house perhaps should be is quite different from myself. They always lived in an apartment living in the sky, particularly in Hong Kong, which are very vertical. They're up 40 or 50 storeys, and that's how they've lived all their life. So the context of coming to live in their house in Melbourne is going to be a new chapter in their life about how they connect with the ground. The clients have been a real key difference to any other client that I've actually worked with. So they've actually just handed over the building to us and say, we trust you. I've never had it before, and it's it's actually quite, quite chuffed about it, I suppose, yeah. It's been quite a lovely holistic brief that's been given to us and I think the client is actually quite like-minded with SJB and their values. The whole project actually is very challenging. Not only are we dealing with an international client, but technical aspects of the building as well. Just having an idea of how people are actually going to be living in this space. It's about the balancing out compositionally in that as well. So it just doesn't look like a big blank mausoleum. I think what's different about this project is the interiors and the architecture happening in-house side by side. They've both fed onto one another and I think that that's created a really strong product from not only a planning perspective but also a design perspective and the fluidity of aesthetic from external to internal. That's only going to get stronger once the styling packages get put together. I always believe that, you know, like my, my job in life is, as a designer is really to make the client look comfortable in their house. So the success of a job is not having that architectural ego statement. Success of this will be her surprise and her delight living in the house. It's very nice to have a client that actually is informed architecturally as well. So we actually almost had to create a reverse brief. It has been a sort of quite an evolving brief. We'd already poured the concrete slab and they were half questioning whether the house was too big. And I was like going, okay, what do 